At least 288 people have been killed and 850 others injured in a multiple train collision in India's eastern Orisha state. One passenger train is thought to have derailed before being struck by another on the adjacent track late on Friday. It is India's worst train crash this century. Officials say the death toll is expected to rise further. Indian Railways said the two services involved were the Coromandel Express and the Howrah Super First Express. Sudanshu Sarangi, director general of Orisha Fire Services, said that the death toll stood at 288. According to the authority, earlier that more than 100 additional doctors had been mobilized. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he was distressed by the incident and his thoughts were with the bereaved families. A day of mourning has been announced in the state. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, a populist with increasingly authoritarian tendencies, is scheduled to take the oath of office and start his third presidential term on Saturday following his latest election win. Bangladesh President Mohammad Shahbuddin is in Turkey's capital Ankara to attend the oath-taking ceremony of Turkish President-elect Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Besides, high-level officials from 78 countries will also attend Turkish President Erdogan's searing in ceremony. Erdogan, who has led Turkey as Prime Minister or President for 20 years, prevailed in a runoff race last weekend despite the country's ongoing economic crisis and his government's criticized response to a February earthquake that killed more than 50,000 people. 